Hello, this is Jeremy, and today we're going to talk about how to find integrals using a special technique called integration by substitution. As usual, what I've done is I've selected uh, three examples that I think will kind of show you the techniques you're going to use, but uh, certainly with this, it's not like I can go and find three or even five or even ten examples that will show you everything you'll run across. If this is one of those techniques you have to practice and get used to, and you start developing an intuition of when to use it and when not to use it. Okay, so let's start talking about these examples. And so I'm going to look at the first example, A. And the first thing I notice is that uh, we have a product of two functions. And in this product of two functions, um, you know, this isn't something we could easily simplify out. You would have to uh, have a lot of algebra skills to be able to simplify this out at all, if it's even possible. And so when I look at this, I say, well, what can I do instead? You know, it'd be really nice if this was simpler, right? And secondly, I noticed that 4x cubed is the derivative of x to the fourth. In fact, it's the derivative of this whole thing. Those two things lead me to want to try a substitution. And since I'd like to be this to be, I'd like for this to be more simple, and this is already the derivative, I'm going to try that out. So I come over here and I say, okay, well, let's let u equal 1 plus x to the fourth. Because I'm going to have to do the integral in ter terms of u, I have to figure out what du would be. So du would be the derivative of this, so it would be 0 plus 4x cubed, and then it would be dx. So this is like that differential stuff we did before. And now I go and I solve for dx, and I find that du divided by 4x cubed is equal to dx. So now I'm going to take my integral and rewrite it. And I'll say, okay, this is actually now the integral of 4x cubed, the square root of u now, and then dx I'm going to replace because we're, we're going to change everything over to u, and this is du over 4x cubed. Okay, notice how the 4x cubes cancel out. I want that to happen because my final integral needs to be in terms of the same variable, so this is now the integral of the square root of u, du. So what we're saying is if you let u equal this, that this integral will have the same answer. All right, well, u is really to the one-half power, right? So I'm just going to put a little note. That's u to the one-half. So when I find this integral, I add 1 to one-half, so I get 3 halves, and then divide by 3 halves, and then add c. In other words, I have 2 thirds u to the 3 halves plus c. Now, of course, this isn't my final answer because we want the answer to be in terms of x since the original integral was in terms of x. And so I say, well, what was u? u was 1 plus x to the 4, so my actual final answer will be 2 thirds 1 plus x to the 4th to the 3 halves plus c. And so this is my final answer. Again, an integral that I really don't think could be found many other ways. We're able to find in a very simple way, a very basic integral over here, all because of this idea of substitution. So let's take a look at another one. And so for part b, uh, the first thing I notice is, okay, we got uh, a rational function, and gosh, is there really, nothing would cancel out if you could factor these things, and I'm not, I'm not even really trying to see if I can factor them or not. I'm trying to think of ways I could simplify this, but none of the ways we typically use are going to work here. So you could factor this. This probably doesn't factor in any nice kind of way. And so I start saying, well, what else could I do? When I try a substitution, I usually automatically try the more complicated piece of the function. So this is the more complicated piece because it's an x cubed instead of an x squared, in my opinion. Now, if I'm wrong and I pick a bad substitution, what's going to happen is stuff isn't going to cancel out nicely. I'm not going to be able to get rid of the original variable. And, well, I have an eraser. I'll just try again. Now, the other thing that leads me to think maybe I'll try a substitution here is, again, x cubed if I take the derivative of that, when, which I'll have to do to replace dx, this will be 3x squared, which maybe I could get to cancel with this if the right things happen. So I'm going to do just like I did before and say, okay, let me let u equal x cubed minus 3x plus 7. And let me see what happens. I get du equals 3x squared minus 3, and the 7 derivative of that is zero. So, okay, and don't forget, this is all times dx. All right, when I go to solve, I get du over 3x squared minus 3 equals dx. And I have to solve, remember, because i got to replace this dx, too. Okay, so now, what do I end up with as my integral when I do all this? I get the integral of x squared minus 1 over u, 
and then I get dx equals du over 3x squared minus 3. Okay, when I first look at this, it looks like, okay, maybe my substitution didn't work because these aren't going to cancel out. But take a look at the term 3x cubed, or excuse me, 3x squared minus 3. I'm going to rewrite that a little bit. This is the integral of x squared minus 1 over u, and then it's du over 3 times x squared minus 1. I can factor out a 3. So it didn't look like things would cancel, but now look at this. We get rid of all the x's, because that's what we need. We need to get rid of all the x's somehow. Sometimes there's more complicated problems where it's not just a cancellation where you have to solve for stuff. We won't really see those. For us, it's going to be stuff cancels. So what do I end up with now? I have the integral of 1 over u, okay, because this canceled, so that was 1 times this, du over 3. What do I do about this over 3? Well, that's a 1 third, so I can bring out constant. So this is a 1 third times the integral of 1 over u du. Now it's a much more simple integral, right, because we know automatically this is 1 third, and the integral of 1 over u is ln absolute value of u, plus c. And now all I got to do is replace in uh, the stuff I set u equal to, which is one-third ln absolute value x cubed minus 3x plus 7. And don't forget your plus c. So once again, all this algebra work and all this substitution work up here allowed me to simplify things down and make it a much easier integral to solve for. And again, where did this stuff come from? This is right up here. This is what I let you equal in the very beginning. Okay, let's try one more. And so you saw one where it's a product, you saw one where it's a rational function, and so let's take a look at something involving e. I'm going to clear the screen and say, okay. Well, I know the integral of e to the x dx is equal to e to the x plus c. Now, e to the x is just a nice function. It behaves so well, and so it's just really easy to take the derivative and the integral. But this isn't quite an e to the x. I really wish it was, though, right? That'd be very nice. And so what I'm going to do is try to let it be a u because the integral of e to the u would just be e to the u. So I'm going to try to make this one term and see what I can get out of it. Again, I have an eraser, so if my idea for the substitution doesn't work out well, I'll try something else. So u equals 3x minus 2. So that means that du equals 3, the derivative of this, dx. And so du over 3 equals dx. Okay, well now what happens to my integral? So I take the integral now of e, now that's e to the u, and I have du over 3. Remember, we're solving for dx because it has to be in terms of the same variable. This is saying we're taking the integral in terms of x. So when we change it to du, we say now we're taking the integral in terms of u. All right, well, this looks kind of strange, but it's kind of like before, right? The du over 3 is really a 1 third, so I'll bring that out. 1 third of the integral eu du. Now it's as easy as that first example I wrote down over here. I can say, well, this is one-third e to the u plus c. And then I say, well, what was your u? One-third e u was 3x minus 2. Notice this time nothing canceled out, but we were able to get everything in terms of u from the very start. That's the main idea. You have to get everything in, in terms of u before you go and take the integral.